Good morning. On this 28th Sunday, we celebrate Christ, the wisdom and the word of God. The readings of this Sunday focus on the wisdom of God and the challenges of following Christ. Today's liturgy encourages us to seek God's wisdom and give precedence to spiritual wealth over material wealth. And that is exactly the opening message of today's first reading. I prayed and prudence was given to me. I pleaded and the spirit of wisdom came to me. The first reading personalizes wisdom. She is the most precious of all wealth. Wisdom is God himself. All good things come from him and must return to him. Nothing can be compared with wisdom. Nothing has value without her. Whoever possesses wisdom has everything. And no wonder then the book of Proverbs says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. All created things only partake in the beauty and splendor of God. And that is why St. Augustine says that our hearts are made for God. They must not rest until they are united with God, the true wisdom. The second reading today describes the word of God as a double-edged sword that cuts across the bones. This reading reminds us that the word of God is the ultimate and irresistible power through which God reaches and enriches us. The word of God in the scriptures is powerful. It conquers and transforms every heart that humbly receives it. It brings our real thoughts and intent to light and dispels all forms of darkness. When God prints his word in our heart through the power of his spirit, it powerfully convinces us, converts us, transforms us, and comforts us. God's words humbles a proud heart. It makes a perverse spirit to be meek and humble. It increases virtue in a humble heart and turns sinners to saints. Today's gospel is very interesting. It highlights the fact that a truly rich person is one who possesses true wisdom and not just material wealth alone. It reminds us of how material wealth could be a grave obstacle to obtaining true wisdom. The rich man in today's gospel, though not a broad person, came to justify himself and to display 
his religious piety. According to his judgment, it seems to him that he had done all things well. Unfortunately, his weak spot was an untouchable area. The major problem of this young man is his excessive attachment to wealth. Indeed, Jesus appreciated his effort and knew that something was really lacking in him and wanted to help him solve this problem. The rich man walked away sad without dropping his problem before Christ. He did all things well, but lacked the wisdom to understand that the key to eternal life is detachment from this world. Brothers and sisters, what about us? What do we cling to that we find difficult to release or relinquish before Christ? Yes, we often attend Mass to hear the Word of God, hoping to be transformed, to surrender, to be Christ and share Christ. Yet, do we go home still sad, like the rich man in the gospel of today, unable to cast aside our negative habits before Christ for healing? There are important lessons to learn from today's readings. First, we might have a weak spot unknown to us. Only the wisdom of God can help us illuminate this. Second, at times, it seems to us that we have done all things well. Unfortunately, pride and love of this world make it difficult for us to see the true reality of our lives. Third, we must not allow material wealth to become an obstacle be between us and eternal life. Brothers and sisters, Christ teaches us that attachment to wealth is the easiest way to forsake God. This is because attachment to wealth and this world overburdens and alienates one's soul. It makes our spiritual journey very heavy, difficult, and almost impossible. Finally, in order to be truly wise in the dealings with the wealth of this world, we must seek the wisdom and understanding that come from God. With the psalmist today, let us humbly say to God, the true wisdom, fill us with your love that we may sing with joy. Amen.